Hey, what's going on, everyone? So, Like a Boss is now in the, well, technically it's the early screening for today. Um, I got some, you know, cool stuff from the uh, early screening. So, they, um, you know, they had this early screening. And Like a Boss, for those of you that don't know, it's about two friends with very different ideologies that run a beauty company. And they face off against Selma Hayek's character, uh, Rose Byrne and Tiffany Haddish. They're the best friends. And based on the trailers, the trailers didn't really seem interesting. But the premise itself, I was like, this could be good. This could be this year's Girl Strip. To be fair, I say that about every Tiffany Haddish movie ever since Girl Strip, but that's what I was thinking. And um, again, I got to see the early screening, so I was kind of excited for it, even if the trailer seemed a bit cringy. But I will say right off the bat, the cast seems like they're having fun. Tiffany Haddish and Rose Byrne, they have good chemistry. Um, you can definitely tell that on set they were having a lot of fun with the antics that they were doing. But I can't lie, that's where the positives... And this was a terrible movie. Um, every single cliche in the comedy book is in this movie for all of us to see. Uh, friends that, you know, are best friends and say nothing will ever come between them and that they'll never have a fight. Check. That's in that. And you know what happens with that, too. Check. Um, two acts of, you know, trying to be funny and then a final act that gets serious. Check. A final act that is very broad, preposterous, and just has things that are so right feel that you're just kind of like, okay, I guess we're going with that. Check. Um, side characters that, again, feel like they're in a sitcom rather than a film. Check. And that's the story, character development, and just overall sense of humor, which there wasn't really any. The humor is very broad, and sometimes broad humor works for me, sometimes it doesn't. This movie's broad humor didn't work for me. I didn't laugh once in this movie. That's pretty interesting considering that there are some terrible movies i've seen and i laugh at least once in those i didn't laugh at all during this movie i don't know why other than i think that the way it was written really felt poorly executed i think the script is a huge part of why this movie doesn't work but it's not even just that i mean yes it's a huge part of it but the technical aspects of this movie aren't good either the score is so bland and just honestly i noticed it sometimes but it felt like it was tempo music. A lot of times it felt like it was just from a sitcom. And I'm like, why? Why are you choosing that? Like, I love it when a film score, especially for a comedy, is actually, like, great. Like, there are some great comedy scores out there. Game Night is the first one that comes to my mind. That had a great score by Cliff Martinez. But this movie doesn't have a good score in the slightest. Also, the way it's shot, it really isn't well shot. There's a lot of times where the lighting isn't well done. And the color palette, too, is really dull, which is interesting considering the movie's all about beauty. Uh, Summer Hayek is also a character that's just so broad, just like the final act. I, I think that they tried to develop her a little bit, but it just felt flat. It felt like your standard issue villain of, you know, comedy 101 that just was like, huh? Also, the business decisions that the two main characters do, it's kind of hilarious. And the reason for Summer Hayek getting involved with those two characters is also kind of hilarious. And these are in bad ways. It's not like I laughed at these things. It was in my mind. I was kind of like, huh? And that's what I'm saying. This movie has a lot of uh, moments. Like, I can definitely see this movie being something that audiences like. It has that formula that audiences like. You know, where at the end you feel all cuddly, like it's a warm blanket because everything ends on a, you know, nice, clean note. But that's the thing. This movie shouldn't feel like that, though. It's a movie that has so much potential to go beyond the formula that it's seeking out. And I think that's a shame, given the potential. Also, this movie's rated R, but I'm not going to lie, it felt pretty clean for an R-rated movie. Like, I personally thought the humor could have been a lot raunchier, especially given the talent involved, but it wasn't. And I'm not saying raunchy humor is the only form of humor that works, but I'm saying that it's an R-rated comedy, so go big or go home, right? So, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some comedies that are R-rated where it's not like hardcore R, like Game Night, but at the same time, go some way instead of being a safe R-rated comedy. I don't know. That's just my thing. So in the end, like a boss, didn't like it except I got free stuff. Um, this is a pen, by the way. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. I feel like James Bond. <laughs> but um, yeah, like a boss, I didn't like it. I think the, ke the chemistry between the cast, it's fine. Um, they clearly had fun on set. But alas, for me personally, I didn't have fun with like a boss. And uh, this movie was like a bad movie and that's why i'll be giving it a one out of five star rating so yeah no hot toss rating i didn't like this movie but guys i'm curious to hear your guys thoughts let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below did you like like a boss did you not let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below 
And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll catch you guys later.